and check it out. I made resin guitar picks and they work. So this is actually my mandolin, but here are some of the mandolin and guitar picks that I made. I actually created my own mold using mold putty and guitar picks that I already had around the house. So if you know someone who plays the guitar and think this will make a really cool gift or even a cool piece of jewelry, then watch this video and see how I did it. The first thing I'm going to do here is prepare my guitar pick mold. Guitar pick molds do exist, and so if you want to skip this step, you can and just purchase a pre-made pick mold. But since I had picks and I didn't have a mold, I am using Amazing Mold Putty to make my own. The way this stuff works is you take out an equal amount of white putty and yellow putty. So I take out my different amounts and roll them into balls and then I can kind of see like which one is bigger or smaller. I need to add a little more white to this one. Uh, if you keep a scale in your craft room for any reason, uh, you can measure these out by weight also so they match. Once you have equal parts of white and yellow, uh, this is the fun part. You get to smoosh it all up together. So I start by just kind of pinching things together then I'll um, kind of squeeze it between my palms. You want to mix it for about a minute or so until everything is the exact same color. You don't have any white or yellow streaks in it. Then press it down into a disc. A small rolling pin could come in really handy here. Um, but you just want to make sure that you've got a really flat surface. So I pressed it down and then flipped it over so I could use the side that was pressed against the table. And then you're just going to start placing the picks into the mold putty. You can see I kind of work from one side to another uh, just in case there's any little air bubbles underneath it that will hopefully uh, push those out. And then once it's pressed in, I'm also taking my finger and kind of pushing the putty up over the side of the pick a little bit so that uh, there's a little bit of a ridge that will kind of help hold the resin in when we pour it. You can see I've got three guitar picks and then my other two picks here that are shaped a little bit differently are mandolin picks. Once the putty has set for at least 30 minutes, you can remove the picks and the mold is finished. For the resin, I'm going to be using this two-part amazing clear cast. So this is a one-to-one -one resin, so you mix the same amount of part A and part B. And so I'm mixing up 10 milliliters of A and 10 milliliters of B. And the way this mixes up is you stir it for a couple of minutes until it becomes clear and not cloudy anymore. And then after that, you stir two or three more minutes. Now I'm mixing in some different colorants into small amounts of the resin. And then I have some that I've just kept clear. So I've got some alcohol ink. I've got some mica powder and I've got some gold flakes. You can also use glitter and you'll see I have some little dried flowers to add in a couple of these also. So then just start pouring in the molds. Go really slowly because it doesn't take very much resin to fill up the mold and you want to try to uh, reduce any overspill. I use my heat gun to get rid of a few bubbles and spread a little bit, but just be really careful because it's very easy to push the resin up over the side of the mold with the air coming out of the heat gun. Little tweezers are really useful for placing little dried flowers in, and those look really nice in resin that's been left clear. And then I poured a little more resin on top to cover up the flowers. This one here is a mixture of clear and then some mica powder poured in. And then this one I cut up a larger dried flower and put in a few petals along with some gold flakes. 
if you do get a little bit of overspill on the edges, then you can take a craft knife and just carefully trim that away after you demold it. These picks are going to take at least 24 hours to cure. Uh, they're not very deep and they're not very big, and so it actually takes a longer cure time. And you can carefully use a heat gun or you can uh, spritz some rubbing alcohol over the top to help get rid of bubbles. Resin that comes out of this mold putty loses just a little bit of its shine. So you can give it a couple coats of clear spray sealer over the top of it, or you can very carefully do a really thin layer of more resin. And then you wanna let these cure for at least a couple of weeks before you try using them on an instrument. You know, they make cool jewelry even if you wanted to uh, put one of them on a necklace. Uh, this here, I did one drop of blue alcohol ink and then a drop of white on top of it, and it just kind of spread out like that. So if you like this video and you want to see more resin projects too, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you see all my videos that are coming up.